This is Alexis Morgan reporting live from the wreck. What's up, Afro? <laughs> it's 2K TV versus the world. So I want to take some dubs tonight. I concur. Chris? I got bored. Oh. Demoralizing. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was on mute. Hey, I'm Brian, and I'm filling in for the 2K MC. Let's run down the upcoming neighborhood of... The Borough of Brooklyn is the location for the Warriors. It's time for the NBA. Live on 2K. Hey, Dave. Well, the ceremony was delayed, and understandably so, but at last... Thank you, D.A. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their roster. Compensating for the absence of a key player can be difficult, but they've got to hold strong. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green is out there with Andrew Wiggins, and it's Wiseman in at the five down low. And for Brooklyn, we've got Durant, Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Griffin, and it's Harris in at the small forward. Now here's Harden. Terrific talented backcourt tonight, Greg. Did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand. But in the end, even when you know a guy's better than you, and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. Here is Durant after James Wiseman's bucket. Great tee that time from Curry. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Green, no luck. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. The shot by KD. No good. Here's the Warriors with the ball. Outside Curry. Over Harris. Second shot. And Wiggins with the layup. How about the quick jump and seven-foot wingspan of Wiggins? Just major advantage on the offensive glass. Harden surveying the D. And on the way from Irving for three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And Doris, last season for Kyrie Irving, really one of waiting. No Durant on the year to play off of. And then Kyrie's season with the Nets was cut short due to injury. Well, second surgery for Irving in the last three years. You obviously hope he and KD can stay healthy and try to revitalize this Nets organization. Irving is so excited about being on the court. The NBA misses him when he's not playing. Let's hope he stays healthy. And it's the Warriors with the ball following the bucket by the Nets. Well, the IQ is just off the charts for Steph Curry. He senses when the defense has left someone open, and I guarantee you he will put it on time and on target. Now, here is Harden. Offline with his three. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Wiseman. Thompson outside. Good on the three-point shot. Thompson's got five. You see, you've got to stay tight and contest Clay Thompson as much as humanly possible. You give him an inch and forget about it. Harden kicks to Durant. 
from downtown. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry against Harden. Up top, Curry. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Boy, that's a tough finish from Steph Curry. I love that he stays with it through clear contact. That's really nicely done. Outside Griffin. Back to Harden. It's tipped. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. And it's Green missing. And that's trailed by five. In transition, here come the Nets. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. The Nets shooting their first free throw of the contest. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And a new group in for the Nets. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. Brown is checked in for Harris. And Landry Shamit subbed in for James Harden. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. Free throw no good for Irving. Well, Uncle Drew will go out there and do his thing, won't he? Kyrie Irving, an exceptional player. And in fact, if you ask other NBA players, he's one of their favorite to watch. Now here's Irving. Five points in the game. Pass to Claxton. An easy two points on the layup. Well, Kyrie Irving, if you're open, he will find you. This guy is a scorer, but he understands others have got to come along with him. Here's Poole, Oubre, outside. Pass to Looney. Over Irving. And again, no good by Golden State. And so Green will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by one. Shamit the pass to Irving. Back to Shamit. Six to shoot. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And stolen by Irving. In transition, here come the Nets. So they take the lead. Irving's got seven. You simply cannot give Kyrie Irving room to run in the open floor. This guy is a phenomenal transition player. And the pass to Toscano. Down low. No good. Some sour defense from Brown. He dishes it to Irving. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. For Brooklyn, they have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. The Warriors making a switch here. Lee's checked in. Next weekend, it's Specialty Appreciation Defender. If you've applied 12 or more badge points into defense and rebounding, you'll earn double rep for all games played at the beach, cages, and the rec. If you've applied 20 or more badge points, you'll earn triple rep.
welcome. It's the WNBA here on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Washington Mystics going up against the Los Angeles Sparks. And welcome to sunny Los Angeles. I'm Blake Suniga in the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi. Get ready, because we've got 2K hoops coming at you. Here's Ogumake. Well, it seems like we've entered an era of basketball when every team has four or even five players who can hit a three on the floor. How has this three-point revolution changed the game? It's, it's been unreal. I mean, in the last decade, we've seen threes made per game double. The spacing on the court has led to increased scoring, increased pace, and we've seen a lot of bigs add that three-point shot, add that outside shot. Yeah, a lot of players are starting to develop their shot. Take 2016 MVP Neka Ogumike, for example. Now, she made seven trays in her first four years in the league. But then during that MVP season, she almost tripled that total. You know, the great players have just always found a way to adjust their games to the current style. Now here's Tolliver. From deep, Elena Deladon with the rebound. On the wing, Natasha Cloud, guarded by Wheeler. Deladon outside. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here is Agumake. Erica Wheeler drives in. Oliver up top. Just five to shoot. Over Atkins. Again, the miss by the Sparks. Starting her career in the nation's capital as well as winning a title there. Point guard Natasha Cloud sees herself as more than a hooper. Whether it's speaking on panels about activism, holding basketball camps for local kids, or speaking to students, Cloud is active in her community. Now here's Tolliver. To the middle. Here's Zowie B. The shot off that time. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Outside Atkins. Mitchell outside. Left side Charles. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Tolliver. Pass to Wheeler. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Great D that time from Natasha Cloud. And for Cloud, running the show for the 2019 champion Mystics was a career highlight. But she's hoping that's not all people remember her for. Yeah, after winning that title, Cloud told reporters, quote, if all I do is bring a championship to D.C. at the end of my career, then I've failed. Time out, time out. For me, my success is what am I doing for the people and kids in my community? At the end of the day, basketball is just a game, end quote. What a great message. Timeout called the Sparks. Yeah, the coaches seeing a lot of their shots miss the mark and figured it'd be a good time to draw something up, maybe get an easy look. Yeah, all my coaches always had one go-to play that you just keep in your back pocket, and that's probably the one that the coach is drawing up here, trying to get their team an easy bucket out of this break. Crisp pass into the paint. The Mystics with the lead. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Outside Atkins. Charles covered by Zowie B. Charles, no good. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Pass to Ogumake. Out to the wing. Outside Tolliver. Four on the shot clock. Tries it from the top of the key. That's short off the rim. Four on three as they bring it up. Three-pointer Natasha Cloud. That drops and it comes off an assist from Ariel Atkins. A capable distributor. Atkins is able to see the big picture within the game. Back to Wheeler. Pass to Agumake. Side Tolliver. 
Drills the three-pointer. And she's now one of four to start, just trying to get it going offensively. And the Mystics call time here. Well, Christy Tolliver started her WNBA journey as a reserve, but that didn't last very long. She kept developing her game. Then in year four, she became a full-time starter and became the league's most improved player. And she's only gotten better since then. Our third winner was 300 TV with this post-spin Jordan Beauty. And winner number four, add the real OG Billy with the wreck winning green on the run. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today. The Staples Center. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks. Anthony Davis. Sure does, D.A., thank you so much. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. Daniel Tice out there with Vucevic, and it's Williams at the three, the small forward. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. Now here's Schroeder, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. All right, Clark, old school lineups tonight. Both sides anchored by great pivot men. Kevin, I can hear the excitement in your voice, man, and I, I share that excitement. When you see big guys that can go at it in old school fashion, I love seeing that because we don't see it that much these days with all of the three-point shooters. We get to see big guys going to work in the paint. I love it. Now here's Caldwell Pope after the miss from Vucevic. Caldwell Pope passes to Davis. Here's Drummond. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft. Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the Take bottom tier Take of the league. And you Do know, some. with his free throw percentage being where it was last season, it changed the way teams defended him. I mean, there were no easy baskets. He was going to get fouled anytime he got near the rim. Uh, they were going to make him earn his points at the line. And at last season's trade deadline, Andre Drummond traded away basically for a second round pick, a shockingly low return for a guy who was once considered a franchise player. And he can't hit the second. 
And Greg, why is it that the Pistons got so little in exchange for Drummond? Well, I, I think he was an impending free agent. I think Detroit looking to rebuild. Also, it says something about the center position in today's game. Now, here's Schroeder trying to get open as Davis can't cash in from close range. White looking around. And the pass to Vucevic. Caldwell Pope against Levine. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Levine can't hit. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. And that one, good. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. Now here's White outside Levine. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Ooh, man, this thing was turning into a soccer game. A lot of action and not many points. And he gets the bucket. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Outside, White. Goes up from the top of the key. Levine can't hit. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. And Davis can't get it to go. Bulls trail by seven. Williams scanning the floor. Outside, White. No good with the triple. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Lakers. And that one's good. Schroeder. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. The Bulls have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Outside, White. Bounce pass from Vucevic. Outside, Williams. Passes it to Levine. Shot clock at six. Over Caldwell Pope. And it's Levine that time on the assist by Williams. Levine's got his second basket of the game. And this team, they love Levine's talent. But more important now, they love the hard work and the improvement that's following. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Here's Harold. Kuzma outside. Banked in off the glass. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Bulls trail by nine. Now, Valentine kicks it to Temple. Pass to Markinen. Matthews with the steal. And now Matthews pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Matthews doing a nice job using those instincts of his at the defensive end to come up with steals. The Bulls have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Young looking it over. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Lakers leading by nine. 116 left to play in the first. Pass to Kuzma. No good on that one. Excellent D there from Markinen. Bulls have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. And last season for Markinen didn't really go.
Want to know how your play can be featured on 2K TV and earn VC? Well, keep watching. This week, we're kicking things off. The Kings as they came through the tunnel earlier on. All set to give their Sacramento fans something to cheer about. Looking down upon the Tower Bridge. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said... Hey, Kevin. The Kings last season failed to snap their... I bet they are. Thank you, D.A. And tonight, two clubs, Smitty, that love to work their half-court sets. What can the fans expect tonight? I think when you look at two teams, Kevin, that play at a slower pace and like to play in a half court, you will see more basketball strategy. That's some old school hoops, and I like watching it. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Jeremy Grant is out there with Plumley. Then there's Hayes. Then there's Jackson. And it's Bay in at the small forward position. And for Sacramento. Heald and Vaughn are the two and the three. Sean Holmes out there with Bagley and it's Fox in at the one spot and we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block and early in the game these sorts of plays really can set the tone six on the shot clock the Pistons need to get off a shot here. Here's Grant. And the fast hands from Fox on defense. He never lets up on the pressure. Really makes you work for the shot. Thirteen feet away. It's good. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. And getting to the free throw line more and more. G.A. awfully tough to stay in front of De'Aaron Fox. I mean, he's just got to knock him down, though. I mean, a free throw percentage, I think he can and will improve upon. Grant, a beautiful reverse layup. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Fox kicks to Heald. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Mason Plumlee. Well, Buddy Hill, the consummate gym rat, growing up in the Bahamas, he built his own rim with a milk crate and would shoot all night. His neighbors got so tired of yelling at him to keep it down, he, he sprinkled broken glass under the rim to get him to move the hoop. Free throw drops for Heal. And, Greg, they said Heald would wait until his mom fell asleep and then sneak out to play basketball. And when she came looking for him, he'd take off running. <laughs> yeah, he, he preferred to catch that discipline at home more so than in public. But growing up in the 8 Mile Rock, a, a tough neighborhood, his mom rightfully very protective. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Outside Jackson. Holmes against Plumley. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And here's Field. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Pass to Holmes. That's tipped. Stolen by Jackson. Inside. Here's Grant. Another shot. A shot's good from Hayes. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now, here's Fox. Healed with it. Right side back. Over Jackson. 
and too long on the shot. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Passes to Hayes. And here's Jackson. Tries again. And it's good on the layup. Relentless. I mean, Jackson just giving it his all on the backboard. The Kings trail by four. Outside, Fox. Here's the teardrop. And that one is good. Fox has got his second basket of the game. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Kings have gone two for four timeout, from timeout. the field so far today. Timeout is called. First of the game Sorry. for Sacramento. A new generation of players, Greg, coming into the NBA alongside your son, Cole. Uh, we've got a lot of players who I think are going to have a long-term impact on this game. Uh, There's no doubt about it. Listen, I hope Cole can have the kind of impact that some of these guys are, but Look at the Grizzlies. I think they got two terrific ones. John ja Morant has superstar written all over him. Brandon Clark probably surprised some people with his ability to have it. Here we go. Two rounds of finalists. Today, you decide the first. Our first winner for summer was Ghost2494, leaving a sting. Welcome, everyone. This is the WNBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Atlanta Dream going up against the Phoenix Mercury. And from warm Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Blake Suniga, joined by our super team, Brian Benefitemi and Tim Swartz. We're happy you're with us tonight. We might be in the era of long-range shooting, but there are some centers who can still take over a game. Give me your top picks at the five position. I love players who score and defend the painted area, so I have to go with Brittany Griner. Her career block average is about three per game. No one else is at two. And you know what? Any night, Griner can go off to 20, 30 points anytime. If you take Griner, Tim, then I'm going to go with Liz Cambay. Watching her play and move, it's not fair that she's six foot eight. We all remember her 53 point outburst in 2018, proving that when she's on, nobody in this league can stop her. Now here's Carter. Over Griner. Kennedy Carter can't get that one to fall. That's one she knows she should have drained. Pass to Griner. Outside for Diggins Smith. Nurse. And here's 
Diana Taurasi from the arc. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Kia Nurse. Fluid, confident, and overall reliable in catch-and-shoot situations. That's part of what makes Taurasi an offensive juggernaut. Kept alive. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. And down it goes. Two points. And guys, when you talk about Kia Nurse, you got to talk about her immediate impact in the WNBA. In her rookie year, she played in all 34 games. In her second season, she started in all 34 games. In year two, she was the team's second leading scorer and also voted to be a starter in the All-Star game. Now here's Diggins Smith. Good. A few more points added to the lead. They might be ready to pull away. It wouldn't surprise me with as good as they're looking at the moment. Absolutely right, Brian. They're looking really strong. Pass to Williams. Williams with it. Reiner's there. Odyssey Sims for three. Kept alive by Atlanta. Hawkins misses. Outside, Diggins Smith. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Griner. Now to Rossi. Pass to Turner. Score the basket. Time nice out, shot out. after missing her first attempt. And with everything Nurse has accomplished so far, where do you see her game going next? Well, she's already shown improvement as a scorer and a facilitator, and I think that will only continue. Her three-point shooting has also taken a big step, so her range might start to extend a bit further. I'd say she has a lot more all-star teams to make, guys. She's just scratching the surface of her potential. The dream trail. Now about three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Outside Sims. Yo, watch her, watch her. Six to shoot. Outside Williams. Can they get it? The Dream again can't hit. And the Mercury with possession. First quarter of action and just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Nurse. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Now here's Williams. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. Here's Nurse. Count it. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse time out, time down out. and make them shoot jumpers. Atlanta calls timeout. Well, guys, Kia Nurse is one of many WNBA players who have gone overseas during the league's